So what's up, y'all? It's your girl Nia Bia, and it's time for the tea. It's time for the tea. It's time for the tea. It's time. So it is currently Sunday, August 16th, and I was like, why not do a story time? So y'all have two story times for you guys. So it's gonna be a part one, it's gonna be a part two. So part one, I'm gonna tell y'all um, about my graduation stole horror story and then part two will be my nail horror story so let's get into this part one so before i even start into this story time make sure y'all like comment and subscribe because y'all will watch my videos which y'all don't like comment and subscribe like what is wrong with y'all like do that don't watch my videos and try to get tea and you ain't like coming and subscribe like what's up what's good y'all make sure y'all do that right now let's get straight into the video so you guys graduated. Um, if you didn't watch my graduation vlog, you need to go watch it right now. Stop what you're doing. Go watch it. And so um, I graduated August 8th, 9 a.m. And so um, you guys know like when you graduate, everybody has like these little stoles that they wear. I'm going to show a picture of like what they look like. They have like their accomplishments, you know, their name, their school. They have cute little... Um, you know badges on them you know what they are you know me i'm university honors i'm um magna cum laude so i'm like you know i gotta show that off <laughs> you did so i decided i wanted to order one y'all let me bring y'all the tea because y'all gonna think i'm lying so i'm gonna give y'all receipts so let me go to my dm so i can tell y'all word for word what i said to this woman okay y'all so I was DMing several folks trying to get a custom stole. So you know how you like looking like the tags and you're like custom stole, you're like little rock nails, or you like so I looked up custom stoles and I was contacting several people and they kept telling me four to seven weeks, seven to fourteen weeks, and y'all keep in mind this is the month before. So I'm like, nah, I need it like two to three weeks. I need it like ASAP. And so y'all, I contact this one company. Let me find her name. <gasps> but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me find her name. So I contact this one company, and y'all usually don't bash companies, but in this video, I have to use her name because she did me so dirty. I contact this one company, Mesmerized Designs. If y'all didn't know, her name is Mesmerized Designs. And so I contacted her on July 14th before I even made the order, and I said, Hello, I was trying to see how long it would take for you to make a custom stole. And so she didn't contact me till July 15th and said three to five days. So you know me, I'm a three to five days. I'm going to have it by. She going to do it. Uh, what's today? Today was the 15th. If I ordered that day. And so it's going to be 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. I'm being realistic. So I'm going to say the 20th. And then she would have shipped it off. So from Georgia. She's in Georgia, y'all. So from Georgia to Arkansas, I said that would have been like what? five to seven days to ship it so i'm like i should get it by the beginning of august because you know my graduation was august 8th and so i'm like bit and so y'all i'm gonna show y'all um my uh order date when i ordered it i ordered it on let me get to y'all i ordered it on july 15th at 2:37 p.m and it says hi nia thanks for your purchase of 105 dollars now you know i'm finna get her all the heat if i'm paying 105 dollars for this dang stove so it was $105 and it says we'll notify you when it ships. View your order. So it sent like the link. And so I'm like, hey, bed three to five days and it's gonna get here in like five to seven. I'm turned. I'm gonna have a stove. I'm gonna take my pictures. We good. Y'all, this is where the table's turn. So look, y'all. Um, you know me, whenever I place an order, I gotta make sure, you know, people on top of it. Cause sometimes, you know, they may have mishaps, but I like to know when I'm paying my money, I like to know like what's the update on my order you know period because when you're paying your money your hard earned work money hard earned work <laughs> your hard earned money that you worked for you gonna make sure that your money is you know being justice being justice <laughs> what is wrong with me you gonna make sure you know your stuff is getting in on time i messaged her um and i said this was july 24th this was like that friday when was that july 24th yes july 24th that was the next friday so this was a week already y'all so she said three to five days keep in mind she said three to five days she would have it done so this is the next following friday after it's been a week so i'm like she should already have it done so i said 
Hi, my name is Nia. I was just checking in on my order that I put in for my store. She said the next day, July 25th, she said, sorry for the delay. Factory was out, but they are back, so it should go out Monday. So I'm like, okay, bet. You know, factory, it is Corona. Some stuff, you know, may be delayed. So she's going to ship it out Monday. It's good. It's going to be here on time. So that was July 25th. So I said, okay, no problem. Cool. So um, I waited a few days. July 30th, I'm like, okay, she shipped it out Monday. I'm going to probably message her maybe in a couple more days to see where my tracking number is. So I, I text her July 30th, well, DM her. And I said, hello, is there a tracking number available on the site? And she said, let me see for your order. Now, y'all, keep in mind, I'm thinking, okay, she's going to give me my tracking number. Y'all, this woman did not have my tracking number. She said, let me see if I can find your tracking number. Now, you know, why would you try to fake search for a tracking number that you didn't even send out my order yet? Don't give me the run around. You feel me? This where I'm getting really mad because at this point she like I'm trying not to get mad but at this point I have a little attitude you know what I, mean? I said I ordered a graduation stole for Mia Mitchell that's me and I said I was wondering if it shipped out I take my pictures next week this was on July 30th at 6:31 p.m. so yeah I sent her that and she said the next day why she always responded to my my messages the next day or the next morning it don't matter i was just really just fed up she said i can make it today and ship it out what you can make it today and ship it out y'all <laughs> this is what i told her i said you told me it would be shipped out last monday I need it for my graduation next week, which was the 8th. And I said, if not, you can just refund me my money. You talking about some you can, uh, I can make it today and ship it out. Ma'am, so what happened on Monday? We was going to ship it out. It was a delay. Like, stop lying, bro. All these businesses be lying. Talking about some, it's a delay. Don't try to use this corona stuff, baby girl, because you ain't even try to make my order. You ain't even try to make my order. She said, what day is your graduation? Did I not just tell her, y'all? Did I not just tell her my graduation was next week? Now, all of a sudden, she getting all, uh, oh, what day is your graduation? I can get it done. I said, next Saturday. She said, hey, if I can't do it today, I will refund you. My apologies. Also, I read your message about the white. Okay, y'all, let me tell y'all. So, I had, like, put a little note underneath my messages because I wanted a white stole with a blue outline. And she didn't have that in the drop in the drop down button. So, I told her, I put it in a, a comments and I said, I want a white, I want a white stole with a blue outline. And she was like, I read your message about the white, um, white stole not being in the drop down. I don't offer white as the color because I stopped it a long time ago. The white color stains when heating to put the artwork on so I no longer offer it. So you're telling me that a week before my graduation, you haven't even looked at my order. You said you was gonna ship it out Monday. Like, why you not? See, police, he coming to get you right now. What you want for? I said, you can just refund me my money. At this point, I'm fed up. I said, you can just refund me my money. She said, okay, we'll do. Baby girl, are you having an attitude? Do you want to post up? Because you can't go to Villain of Chase. Where the hell can you go? So, <laughs> that didn't make sense, y'all. But I said, how soon would I see my refunds? That's $105. It need to be back in my pocket right then and there, baby girl. But you know how, like, businesses will try to, like, take your money instantly. And then when you try to get a refund, oh, it's five to seven days. No, 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 baby girl. I need my money right now. So she sent me a picture. I'm going to send a picture, y'all. It said refunded $105. So I checked my account, and it was in there. Because, baby girl, if it wasn't in there, it would have been a problem. Period. So yeah, y'all, and then you know me. I got so mad because y'all, I really want to cry. Like I wanted a stole to have all my accomplishments when I took pictures. Like I wanted to be so cute because you know I've accomplished a whole bunch of things in college. And so, y'all, I had to do a rant on Instagram. If you follow me, you know I did a rant. I said now I'm usually pretty quiet when it comes to mishaps um, with my order, but when it comes to my graduation, baby, you gonna get this heat. Okay, you're going to get this heat, you're going to get the smoke, you're going to get all of it. And I said, first of all, and I tagged the company, I said, Mesmerize Designs. I didn't care. 
And I say I don't bash uh, black owned businesses, but this one, she really messed me over, for real. But she was lying to me. That's the first thing you don't do. You don't lie to me and Nicole Mitchell, because I'm going to figure it out, and I'm going to find out, and I'm going to bush you up. You feel me? But anyways, so, and I said, she's very unprofessional. Y'all just went off on her. I said, I'm constantly on your butt. I was cussing with y'all. I was mad. I said, I'm texting you. I'm emailing you. I'm DMing you three or four times. And you should have been the one to reach out to me first to update me on my order. Y'all, I'm telling you, if the company um, had a delay in their shipping, why didn't you just contact me? You have my email. You have my phone number when I did the, you know, the order. Why you didn't contact me and tell me that my order was being delayed? Why did I have to contact you to see where my where my shipping where my shipment was, where my tracking number was, if my stuff even got shipped out? Like that's so like ugh, unprofessional, and I got so mad, and I just had to bust her out like that. And I usually don't like do businesses like that. They do me dirty, but I had to bust her out because you don't just do nobody like that. And that was my graduation, my college graduation, and you messed it up. So yeah, y'all, I hope y'all like this video, this story time, and I hope y'all tuned in to part two when I talk about my nail horror story. So yeah, y'all, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me on some more story times that y'all want to hear about. Tell me about some more videos y'all want to see me do. And yeah, y'all, love y'all. Bye.